The brain is a pretty amazing thing, and in many respects, the brain is the greatest computing system to ever exist. The fact that scientists are developing machines in such a way that mimic the functionality of the brain is even more incredible. Now, what if we were to tell you that a new kind of water-based circuit that has been inspired by biology has the potential to transform neural network computing as we know it? Meaning, it could be a little soggier than we were expecting, bringing a whole new meaning to the term wetware. No matter how advanced our technology is, the digital computers that dominate our world today are still a far cry away from the human brain, which has left researchers scratching their heads as they ponder the discrepancy, wondering what it will take to bridge the gap. Let's start with the biggest difference between the human brain and the digital computer and how computation is done. The main distinction is that in digital computers, the electrons are manipulated through semiconductor materials. Meanwhile, in the brain, ions are manipulated in liquid. Can you see where this is going? As published in Advanced Materials, a team of researchers at Harvard University have collaborated with biotech startup DNA Script. They have managed to successfully develop an ionic circuit that is made up of hundreds of ionic transistors, replicating the process that takes place with the human brain. But what exactly is an ionic circuit? Generally speaking, the physiological processes that living organisms rely on are governed by the selective transport of ions across aqueous environments. One example of this is that cells function based on the biological channels across their membranes which facilitate the exchange of ions and molecules both within the cell and outside of it. Although not a circuit in the conventional sense, this in itself is in fact a circuit. And whilst ionic circuits aren't conventional, their performance and characteristics far exceed those of digital computers. Hence, researchers are trying to harness this behavior as it could highly benefit fields such as machine learning. Many researchers have been successful in creating components for ionic circuitry, but until now, no one has been able to create a full circuit, with the team at Harvard stepping up to the challenge. With the development of the ionic circuit, the scientists behind this research have taken one step closer to the way the brain transports information, claiming that their device could be the next step forward when it comes to brain-like computing. Physicist Wu Bin Jung of the Harvard John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences led the team for this research, writing in a new paper that ionic circuits in aqueous solutions seek to use ions as charge carriers for signal processing. Here we report an aqueous ionic circuit. This demonstration of functional ionic circuit and analog computing is a step toward more sophisticated aqueous ionics. When it comes to signal transmission within the brain, one major part is the movement of the charged molecules, otherwise known as the ions, through a liquid medium. The incredible processing power of the human brain is hardly a walk in the park when it comes to replicating, but scientists have thought that a similar system might be employed for computing, pushing ions through an aqueous solution. Now, this process would be a lot slower than the conventional method of computing, which is more silicon-based, but through manipulating ions in liquid, there could be some interesting advantages. For example, ions can be created from a wide range of molecules. Each one comes with different properties that have the capability of being exploited in a variety of ways. However, before anything else, scientists need to show that it can work. And that's exactly what Wu Bin Jun and his team of boffins have been working on. The first step in all of this was to design a functional ionic transistor, which is a device that switches or boosts a signal, beginning this process using a technique that the team had previously pioneered. Their most recent accomplishment and advance came when they managed to combine hundreds of those transistors to work together as a complete ionic circuit. The ionic transistor is made up of a bullseye arrangement of electrodes, with a small, disc-shaped electrode positioned in the center, and two concentric ring electrodes around it. 
This transistor then interfaces with an aqueous solution of quinone molecules, which are a class of organic compounds and small electron transfer molecules. A voltage is applied to the central disk, which then generates a current of hydrogen ions inside of the quinone solution. As this takes place, the two ring electrodes modulate the pH of the solution to gate, therefore increasing or decreasing the ionic current. The transistor then performs a physical multiplication of a weight parameter that has been set by the ring pair, gating with the disk voltage, resulting in an ionic current being produced. Neural networks, however, rely heavily on a mathematical operation that is otherwise known as a matrix multiplication. This involves a number of multiplications. The team at Harvard therefore designed 16 by 16 arrays of their transistors, each one capable of arithmetic multiplication, in order to produce an ionic circuit that can perform and complete matrix multiplication. According to June, matrix multiplication is the most prevalent calculation in neural networks for artificial intelligence. Saying that, our ionic circuit can perform the matrix multiplication in water in an analog manner that is based fully on electrochemical machinery. With all this, there are of course significant limitations and restrictions when it comes to this tech. For example, the 16 currents cannot be resolved separately, which means that the operations had to be performed sequentially as opposed to concurrently. Because of this, the process significantly slowed down an already relatively slow technology. Although it may be slow, it is still a huge success and accomplishment for June and his team, and a giant step towards the development of much more sophisticated ionic computing. In seeing the problems, it allows us to find solutions. Well, not us, but the team at Harvard. Although, it is pretty good advice generally. One of the next steps to be taken is to find a way to introduce a wider range of molecules into the system to see if that allows the circuit to process much more complex information. So far, we have used only three to four ionic species, such as hydrogen and quinone ions, to enable the gating and ionic transport in the aqueous ionic transistor, says June. It will be very interesting to employ more diverse ionic species and to see how we can exploit them to make rich the contents of information to be processed. In the end, the ultimate goal for the team is not to compete with electronics, nor even replace them with ionics. However, it is to complement one of the other, perhaps in the form of a hybrid technology that combines both ionics and electronics bringing their capabilities together as one. Scientists are trying to follow nature's very own design when it comes to the development of ionic microprocesses, using the brain in particular as its main inspiration. This could prove to be particularly energy efficient when it is compared with traditional semiconductor-based processors. Let's just hope that one day, machines aren't completely outsmarting us. Otherwise, all those sci-fi movies may just become a reality and not just a conspiracy. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Let us know what you think down in the comments below, and we will see you in the next one.